What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we took a small tour of Lavender City. You know, battled quite a few trainers, you know, we didn't want to leave those off. And yeah, off screen, like I said before, I did trade a few Pokemon to teach a few new moves. As you can see, Godzilla Godzilla right here. Taught a Dragon Rage from our Pokemon Blue Walkthrough, not walkthrough that I... You know, I'm currently doing, but the one that, you know, we had as Draven XU711. And, well, we taught uh, Sir Razor another move right here, Mega Drain, because, yeah, why wait? Seriously. Why friggin' wait? Okay, so, it is time for us to move on. We're time. It's time for us to just kick some butt, take some names, beat trainers, Gattaca. So, what's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? I'll tell you what it is. It's Clefairy or Jigglypuff. See him from above, I think. I don't know. Alright, so we're taking on Clefairy right here, and, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use the new move, uh, Dragon Rage right here. Now, it automatically takes 40 points, but that's a nice amount to beat everybody. As you can see, it takes a huge chunk at this point right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and do it again. Dragon Rage for the win! Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And Godzilla, Godzilla has grown to level 23, which I'm happy about. Now he's coming out with a Clefairy, so let's go with Terramon. It's time to destroy everything in its path. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a Dig Attack for safe measure right here. That Sing Attack was not... Yeah, that Sing Attack was going to was gonna get me right there. So there we go. Dig Attack for the win. And... Uh, well, look at that. Okay, we defeated uh, Clefairy. And he's like, I'm a rambling, gambling dude. Are you? Are you really? Okay, alrighty. So here we go. We're taking on a gambler, soon to be named Gamer. And he's coming out with his Growlithe. Really, really do love Growlithe. I really do. Okay, so let's go straight for a Dragon Rage attack right here. And, well, there we go. Bite attack. Okay, alrighty, another, dra another Dragon Rage is going to do it again. And just like that, Dragon Rage has been defeated. Okay, or not Dragon Rage, but Growlithe. And, well, let's go right ahead and go back to Torpedo. Now, I could have taught Torpedo uh, Dragon Rage, right? Yeah, I completely forgot about Dragon Rage for this Pokemon right here. But, I'm just going to leave it at that. It needs to learn a little bit more moves since it's actually, you know... It's actually uh, growing levels uh, quite qu quickly. The only thing is that we have to actually monitor the amount of uh, levels that it grows right now. Since there is a, le a level gap right now. And, well, there we go. Vulpix defeated. And, well, there we go. Gambler defeated. I am happy about that right there. Okay, so let's move on and take on all these trainers. The element of surprise. You need strategy to win at this. Okay, all right, what kind of strategy do you have? Pokemon cards, super nerd, anything. Let's go. Here comes Grimer, and here comes a Godzilla Godzilla. Let's go ahead and use some more Dragon Rage attacks right here. Automatic 40 points, and there we go. And here comes a Pound attack. Now, I could use Dump Truck later on. I do want to use Dump Truck at some point, but I don't know where. Poison type Pokemon are easy in this game right here. And well, he's coming out with a muck. Let's go with Ultra Psycho. And uh, well, Ultra Psycho is about to get a nice level up because we're taking on a big, fat, evolved muck right here. So there we go. Confusion attack. Nearly does it. And well, here comes a fart attack. Does it affect my Ultra Psycho? And just like that, muck has been defeated. Ultra Psycho getting some points, and well, we're gonna stick. We're gonna stick to this right here, and well, let's go right ahead and do this one more time. Confusion, hopefully for the win, and it does it. There we go, Grimer defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Let's move on right here. Now we're gonna be doing a uh, quite a few things. Quite a few things right here, just beating everybody, uh, leveling up our Pokemon, and uh, skipping a few trainers here and there, maybe because, well, they're going to be needed for later on, if you, know, if you guys know, catch my drift. So, here we go, taking on uh, this guy, school is fun, but Pokemon are better, and, well, here we go, taking on this guy right here, Super Nerd wants to fight, and he is coming out with his coughing, and, well, 
Sir Razor is a poison type as well, but it is not super effective. So let's go straight for an Ultra Psycho. Since a lot of these super nerds like to use, uh, what was it called, uh, poison type attacks and whatnot. And just like that, Smog Attack hits us. And it poisons us. Good gravy. Okay, so here we go. Confusion for the win. And, oh wow, nearly does it. Holy crud. That coughing is uh, one, one tough cookie right here. Okay, alrighty, so here we go again. Let's get this confusion attack. For the win, there goes uh, coughing. And, uh, well, Ultra Psycho grows to level 24, so we're growing up a little bit good. Okay, alrighty. He's like, I'll stay in school. You, you better. Okay, so off screen, I also bought some new. Well, I bought some more, uh, more uh, healing items. Okay, a couple of repel or a couple of revives, you know, just to keep us alive and whatnot. Now I think she has a bunch of uh, Pidgey, so let's go right ahead and switch out to Aaliyah. Let's go right ahead and uh, take care of this. I like Nidoran, so I collect them. Hmm. How many Nidorans do you collect? A lot. A lot, a lot. Okay. So here we go. Take it on a Nidoran. And, well, Aaliyah's coming in. Thunderbolt attack for the win. Okay. Alrighty. So there you go. Nidoran female. Gone. And, well, he's going to be coming, or she's going to be coming out with a Nidorina for the first time we're battling this one. So let's go to Terramon. And, well... Nidorina is looking like an actual Nidorina right here, about to defeat us, but look at this, Dig Attack, and that Poison, tea, uh, poison Sting misses, so here we go, Dig Attack for the win, and uh, just like that, another level up, yeah buddy, okay, alrighty, why, 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 she doesn't like it, alright, so let's go ahead and battle, and she's coming out with Meowth, okay, never mind, anywho guys, so, here we are, battling a lot of trainers. Uh, I kind of feel like uh, this walkthrough right here is going to be very successful. I, I really do feel that way. Mainly because of the good reception that you guys have given it, and, uh, you know, the way things are going to go about right here. Okay, I'm, again, I'm excited for what's to come. Um, let's go with uh, Godzilla. But yeah, I'm very excited for what's to come, guys. Uh, it, again, I don't mind restarting this whole thing just for this occasion. Um, hell, it might even work out for the other, the future walkthroughs that, uh, that I have in store, including the ones that are not, uh, you know, journey related and whatnot. And well, there we go, Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage does it. Say goodbye, and well, there we go, another Pokemon has been defeated. So now let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go straight to Terramon. Now, I am using some Pokemon that I have, I've never used before, like Terramon right here. It's actually a very good Pokemon once you get to know it a little bit. And I'm, I'm digging the defense. Its defense is, uh, is quite impressive right there. And, well, that rock throw, it didn't do the trick, but here we go. Not so effective. There you go. Rock throw for the win. And there you go. Okay, alrighty. Let's go right ahead and take on another trainer right here. We must look silly standing here like this. Kind of. Just a little bit. Anywho. Here we have another lass. And she wants to fight. And of course she has five Pokemon. All of them Pidgeys. And uh, well. There's five of them. You know. Aaliyah's going to have her way with uh, this Pidgey right here. You know what's cool about this too? Is that my niece Aaliyah. She loves the fact that you know the Pikachu's been named after her. And, you know, I, I would do it again, mainly because my niece is so special to me. And I think I've posted up a picture of her drawing a Pikachu. She's quite the artist. I still have that Pikachu right here on my wall. So it's like, you guys already know the relationship between me and her. This is great. And, well, just like that, defeated uh, another Pokemon trainer. Let's go ahead and uh, switch it out. Let's go dig attack again. This Nidoran has no chance. Now, I actually thought of using a Nidoran male for this walkthrough and as you guys already know I kind of had to switch it up uh, well I kind of had to start up this this walkthrough like seven times because well it just didn't feel right there was a lot of things that were going into this it didn't really feel right and well I'm actually glad that we're using Terramon right here because well uh, you know 
Again, never really tried them, never really trade for it. The only time I ever... Uh, there was only like one time as a kid that I've ever trade for this Pokemon and got them and then set them back and all that crud, but never quite used them and all that. Nowadays, when you're playing the, the Switch or the 3DS, you can actually trade for these Pokemon real easily, but back then it was quite a, it was quite the struggle. And, well, look at that. Nidoran male has been defeated, and just like that, another victory for the winners, the bad guys. And I think there's another trade right here. Now, this is an easy exit right here, but there is a little something right here that I need to, I actually need to tell you about. So, there are two trainers right here. Two trainers, and I do believe one of them is the key to a certain glitch, which is the reason to why I am going to skip them both, because if you guys remember, uh, about a year or two ago when the pandemic started, I actually did the whole, uh, what was it, Makeup Friday or Finish Friday or Finish February or something like that, you know? And one of my one of my subscribers actually said you didn't complete the game fully. You forgot Professor Oak, and I believe it's this gentleman right here that starts up the glitch. But if I'm mistaken, the other one could be the the, the guy that could uh, that, that could actually activate the glitch. So I'm gonna skip both of them. We're gonna be moving on right here. We will be including we will be including the po the, the Professor Oak battle right here. So we're gonna be going straight. We're going to be going straight to Celadon City, and, well, let's go right ahead and take care of business right now. Let's go right ahead and take care of business. All right, okay. So, here we are, Celadon City. Where are we? There could be some uh, Pokemon right here that you can actually capture. I believe Growlithe is one of these Pokemon right here. But, here we are, finally making it to Celadon City. Let's go into the Pokemon Center and heal up our Pokemon. That way, if we do teleport, then bam. The teleportation is actually working. So here it is, healing up the Pokemon, and we're going to take a small visit of uh, Celadon City. One of which, I am going to actually send the Pokemon back. Let's see. Actually, let's go, yeah. We're going to, we're actually going to keep two slots open, or one slot open, or yeah, you know what? We're going to, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's see. Let's go ahead and deposit a few Pokemon right here. So, um... Let's give it a challenge. Okay, Godzilla needs to be in there. Sir Razor. You know what? Let's go ahead and put Sir Razor. And let's put Ultra Psycho in for the time being. Reason is because they... Oh, hold on. Yes, we do need a Pokemon that can actually uh, learn Cut right here. So let's see if we... Let's see if I have one. Uh, let's see. Thrasher, Smasher, Clefairy, Dubasaur, Pickhammer, Leonardo. Hmm. Okay, so I could use Pig Hammer right here, and that is because I do need a Pokemon or a, a Pokemon that knows how to cut, because there's quite a few things that we need to actually grab. So let's go straight back here, grab the HMO one, and let's go right ahead and do this thing right here. Okay, so let's uh, teach cut, and unfortunately, Pig Hammer doesn't know how to use cut, so. I'm going to have to go off screen to actually capture a Pokemon that knows cut, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so we are back, and well, unfortunately, I, I really didn't want to do this, uh, but I had to. But I did teach Dubasaur cut. I will eventually trade it to uh, the uh, second generation and actually delete that stuff, because, well, we really don't need cut or anything like that for this adventure, but we're going to need it right here. Didn't really make any sense. But anywho, here we are in Celadon City, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a few things. Not going in there, because nothing really benefit us there. But this is the home to the uh, self de uh, or the, the department store right here. And I do believe that you can actually go right here and find yourself an area where you can actually cut. Unfortunately, you can't go through here because, well, you know, there's a, slow, uh, there's a Snorlax in the way. But... Nevertheless, we're going to be doing it right here. We're going to be going right here. Cutting this area because we need to grab a little something something. You know, just a little something something. And I thought that there was a Pokemon trainer right there. It was completely wrong because, well, yeah, there's uh, it's Generation, I believe, 3. Now, if you go right here, you're going to be right behind the cycling road. And if you go into this personal house, talk to this lady. He's like, oh, you found my secret retreat. 
Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up. Uh, I'll make it up to you with this. And we get ourselves the TM or the HMO2, which is fly. It will take you back to any town, put it to good use, which we will. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So that's one thing that we can actually grab close to sell it on city. Now, the other thing, too, is this there is a Pokemon out there that we can obtain real early. We can actually use on our team if we want to. And uh, luckily for us, we did trade for it to one of its evolutions right there. So what I'm gonna do is, I got a bike. I might as well use it, right? Okay, so there we go, bicycle, and uh, let's go, okay. So let's see, there's quite a few things you can actually find. You know, the, the uh, what was it, the rocket corner, you can actually get some prizes for that. But if you go right behind here, you're going to actually find yourself a... Well, hold on. Let's see if you can actually find an item right here. I think you can. Hmm. I'm pressing the button. No, nope. it's another uh, It's another generation. I'm still thinking I'm in generation 8 or something. So let's go right here in the back area. And you will be able to find this secret little passage, this little room. And if you talk to this guy... I know everything about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy. Get together with your friends and trade Pokemon, which I kind of did by myself because I have no friends. No offense. <laughs> and yes, there are 50 kinds of TMs in all. There are also five HMs that cannot, uh, can be used repeatedly. Silphco. Now, if you go right here, you'll be able to yourself get yourself an Eevee, which we won't nickname at all. But let's go ahead and take a look at this Eevee. It's at level 25. It's a very good level. And, well, as you can see, it does have some pretty good attacks and all that stuff. And you can evolve it into the one of three Pokemon, which is Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon. As you guys already know, a few episodes back, I did trade for its evolution, Vaporeon. That way you can actually see that, you know, I, I, am, trying to f I am trying to fill up the Pokedex and all that stuff. Actually, let's go into its entry right here. Now, we're going to be going a little further. And off screen, I did capture some Pokemon along the way. Hold on just a sec. Huh? Okay, cool. Okay. Again, getting phone calls and all that stuff. You can never get some personal uh, personal time by yourself right here. So let's go right ahead and take a look at the, the entry for Eevee. And, well, you know what, let's go ahead and take a look at the entry for Vaporeon right here. So, as you can see, we got Eevee, the evolution Pokemon. Its genetic code is unstable, so it could evolve in a variety of ways. There are only a few alive, which is kind of pretty cool right there. And then, let's go ahead and take a look at Vaporeon, the bubble jet Pokemon. Its cell structure is similar to water molecules. It will melt away be and become invisible in the water. Hmm. Now, we got two other Pokemon that we can actually get. I can actually... Eventually, I'm going to evolve, or eventually, I'm going to trade for one of the evolutions and all that stuff. I was, you know, I was thinking of getting a, an evolution right here, but... Yeah, that's probably not the best idea right now, since I already have a full team, a nice team, and all that crud. And, uh, well, we're going to be going right here. And if you talk to this gentleman, talk to him, he's like, Go ahead, laugh! I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing any of this anymore. And we get ourselves a coin case, which will allow us to actually store some coins, you know, store some coins, get some prizes, the whole shebang, you know, that stuff. Now, let's see. There's one more thing that we need to do here before we close off. And that is, if you start stepping up here a little, uh, well, if you go step by step and press the A button, you'll be able to find some coins on the floor. That's what I'm trying to do right here. And I think there's an area right here we can, look at that, we found ourselves 100 coins on the floor, which is great. Talk to, the, oh yeah, and we got 10 coins. So that's like 110, and if you talk to this guy, hey, what? You're throwing me off! Here, here are some coins. Shoo! Get ourselves 20 coins. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see, let's go right ahead and do this. We're checking every area for coins right here. Now, my thing is, okay, why couldn't they just save this whole thing, like the games and all that stuff? Um, I get that gambling's an issue, and they don't like it. Like, things have changed and all that stuff. 
But, you know, it would be nice to actually have these games back just for the fun of it. They just made it into, I think in the later generations, they make it into, like, fun houses or something like that. And, well, let's see. We're going a bit, or area for area, and look at that. We found ourselves ten more coins, which is pretty cool. And right here, let's go, come on. We could find some more. Here we go, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm doing this on purpose, I think. Okay, so we go right here. Talk to this guy. Okay, so hooked. And if we go right here, there will be something right here. Okay, there's going to be something right here. And look at that. We found ourselves 20 more coins, which is great. Talk to her, and she's having such a wonderful time. Clicking, and there we go. 10 more coins. And let's go just a little bit more. Now, if you talk to him... This is the guy that's ever believed, the only guy that's ever believed in you. He's like, hey, you have uh, you have better things to do, champ in the making. Celadon's gym leader is Erica. She uses grass-type Pokemon. She might appear docile, but don't get, don't be fooled. Hmm. Now, the only reason why he's here is because, well, there are no men allowed in the Celadon City gym. Which is kind of ironic because it's like, okay, I'm a dude. Okay, how am I going to make safe passage in there? I don't even know. And yes, we're getting more coins right here. I'm still looking for the coins. Now, there are quite a few Pokemon that you can actually get, or that you can actually get for, uh, what was it called? Uh, for the coins, some pretty rare Pokemon, um, and then some rare TMs as well. Now, if you go ahead and do this, keep this quiet. It's rumored that this place is, is run by Team Rocket, which is kind of, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of fishy, and, okay, different, Different things, different odds. You can go right here. And, well, let's see. I think that's pretty much it right there. Now, before we do anything else, guys, let's go in here and let's go into this one and find out what kind of uh, stuff we can actually get. Now, if you go into this corner, you're going to get yourself the TM23, which is Dragon Rage. This, that's pretty much how I did it over in Pokemon Blue. TM50 is Hyper Beam and TM... Or TM15 is Hyper Beam. TM50, I do not remember what it was. Don't necessarily care for it. Now, if you go down the middle row right here, you're going to be able to get some pretty rare Pokemon without even trying to capture them over at the Safari Zone, like Scyther and Pinsir. Porygon is the ultimate prize right here at 9,999 coins. So that's going to be a it's going to be a challenge right there. And, well, let's see. We go right here. The cheaper versions of the, of the coins, you get an Abra, a Vulpix, and a Wigglytuff, which is kind of... It's kind of odd. It really is kind of odd. So, that right there is it for that location. Now, let's go ahead and finish it off into this area right here. Now, they did say that Team Rocket is running the place. So, let's go right ahead and battle some Pokemon. I'm not going to be using any of these two guys. I completely forgot about my other Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Okay, so why guarding this poster? I do not know. Alrighty. Here we go. Team Rocket wants the battle, and he is coming out with a Raticade. And, well, let's go with Torpedo. Speedo Torpedo for the win. Let's go for Bubbly Beam. And, of course, Raticades have to be fast. Very, very fast. Yeah, they're very annoying Pokemon. And, well, Bubbly Beam is working. And here comes a quick attack again. Here we go. Bubble Beam for the win. And just like that... We win again, and well, he's going to be coming out with a Zubat, so let's go straight to Aaliyah. Let's finish it off. Level 20 Zubat. You don't scare me. Here we go, Thunderbolt for the win. And just like that, Zubat has been defeated. I am feeling good about myself. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Dang. And yes, we've gotten more money from him, and he's like, hideout might be discovered. I better tell the boss. Hmm. Okay, the boss. All right. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going in the rocket corner. We're going to be figuring things out right there. Uh, from there, I think we're going to be going to the Silco or something like that. I don't know. I still haven't decided. So, yes, make sure to subscribe, guys. Hit the notification button. And, uh, yeah, if you want to make a small donation to this channel, there's the link down below. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Yellow in the next day. See you guys.